Welcome to the final video tutorial on an introduction to SOAP with Spring Web Services. We have now proved to ourselves that Spring Web Services can generate the whistle for us. We will now proceed to write the insurance service interface and its implementation. So inside our Comni Core Designs WS package, new Java class, implement the interface. Write insurance application. As we can see, IntelliJ pulls in the package name from our generated packages. Now we're going to do process insurance application. And that's our interface. We will now implement the insurance service interface. Let's get last name and SSN as well. The rest I'm just going to cut and paste in here. Alt enter. Now let's visit the process insurance application method. This is where we're going to insert some hard coded logic instead of accessing a back end database through a DAO.
and that concludes our insurance service implementation. Now we will create the actual SOAP endpoint. We got our namespace URI. Now we're going to define the insurance service and inject it into a class. Now, why is it that the insurance service is showing up in the red here? It says, could not auto wire, no beans of insurance type found, which means it's not founding the insurance service bean. So let's revisit our insurance service. Insurance service info, insurance service. Ah, we need to annotate this with add service. Magic, it resolved itself. Now we're gonna write the insurance application method. This time we'll make sure to annotate it like we need to. And it turns out I don't need the throw exception up here. First we write out our insurance application. Next up we're gonna process our insurance application. And that completes all our coding, so let's just check if it still builds in Maven. Clean package. Now let's check if we run it through the Tomcat plugin, if it still serves up our dynamic whistle. Tomcat save and run. Okay, that doesn't look too good. It says error, error creating bean with name insurance WS endpoint. No qualifying bean type of insurance service down. Well, I thought we fixed it, but apparently not. Uh, 
I had stopped it. Okay, turns out we need to add service to our implementation class, it seems. Let's see if the IntelliJ complains. No, it seems to be fine. So we'll do another clean package. That looks good. So we're going to do a Tomcat 7 run again. And it says the page is not working, which is what we expect because we're not serving any Java or JSP or HTML pages. But what we want to make sure at this stage is if our whistle is still served up. And here is our dynamic whistle. So in order to actually test the SOAP endpoint, we are going to need a tool that can package up a SOAP request message and send it to the uh, SOAP endpoint that we have implemented in the SOAP WS endpoint class. So in the next section, we're going to download SOAP UI and uh, we are going to import the whistle and test the incoming insurance request application. At this stage, we have coded all our classes for a functioning SOAP Web Services endpoint. We are running our SOAP services through the Tomcat 7 plugin with Maven. As we can see, it's up and running here. And when we go to the endpoint with our browser, it says the page isn't working, HTTP error 405. However, what we know does work is that we can get the dynamic whistle. Now, why does it say the page isn't working when we hit our endpoint with our browser? The reason for that is that the SOAP protocol is an older legacy web service protocol that is independent from HTTP, unlike our more modern REST web services that is built on top of HTTP. If you work with REST, you know that uh, you can use a browser to access your REST endpoints. Uh, you'll get REST endpoints, which you cannot use with a SOAP endpoint. Now for our SOAP endpoint, we will actually need a special tool in our case, we are going to use the SOAP UI tool. So this is the website that you can go to to get the tool, soapui.org. You can download the pro version and you can download the open source free version, which is what we did. So let's fire up SOAP UI. This is what the uh, SOAP UI interface will look like. So what we are going to do is create a file new SOAP project. We're just going to call it SOAP test. And it says it requires an initial whistle, which means we will have to import this whistle into SOAP UI. So for that, we're going to do some cut and pasting into a text editor. We got our whole document with control C. I'm going to go over to my trusty notepad editor. I'm going to create a new file and paste the whistle text into here from the dynamic whistle that we just cut and pasted. I'm going to save this as a whistle document. Let's save it on my desktop so we can easily pull it into SOAP UI. There it is. Select the whistle file that we just saved in our text editor. And if we look in our 
soap project. It pulled in the whistle for us. It shows the endpoints. It shows the whistle content, service endpoints, and overview. And it actually has the request endpoint here. So let's fill in some data here. And then in order to hit the endpoint, we're going to just submit the request to the specified endpoint with the green play button. And voila, success. Our insurance service has returned a SOAP envelope back to us with the hard-coded response, the amount, confirmation ID, order date, and our namespace. And if we go into our log file, we can see that the, our um, insurance service writing class, actually the console data was outputted to our console down here. And that concludes it. We now have a working SOAP endpoint created with Spring Web Services. It gets an insurance application and sends back a response using SOAP. And we just tested it with SOAP UI.